What's going on, Hope City? My name is Dane. I'm part of the Youth and Young Adults Ministry here at Hope City. I'm happy to be giving you guys this daily Devo today. Um, we are going over last week's message um, with Matt's message. Um, when we're going over uh, the invitation to belong. So I had a few takeaways from that message, um, and a lot of things stood out to me, and I'm just going to kind of go over those main points. Um, so if you guys have your Bibles, if you guys want to open up with me, we're going to be in Luke chapter 5, verse 27, and this is where Jesus calls Levi or Matthew. Um, so if you guys have your Bibles, we're going to start reading in Luke 5, verse 27. It says, After this he went out and saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the tax booth. And he said to him, follow me. And leaving everything, he rose and followed him. And just start right there with that. Um, I think it's pretty crazy to me just how like Matthew just dropped everything and he just got up and followed Jesus. See, at this time, uh, you know, tax collectors were considered worse than sinners. They didn't have any hope of being forgiven and redeemed. They were traitors of... Um, or they betrayed their own people uh, by stealing their money. And just overall, they just had, they were just bad people in those times. And Jesus still called Matthew out of his tax collector booth to follow him. And just with that, I mean, it's super important to just remember that if God can use someone like Matthew, he can use someone like you and me. You see, there's times where the enemy is going to try to attack our identity, uh, attack our just what we feel he's going to attack so many different things just trying to attack our character basically just making us feel like we're worthless and that we have no no reason to be a christian and no reason to be you know serving in the church or um anything like that the enemy's going to try to attack your identity to make you feel like you're worthless but jesus saw worth in matthew and to continue it says um Verse 20, I'm going to kind of skip around a little bit. Um, it's going to be verse 30. It says, And the Pharisees and their scribes grumbled at his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? And Jesus answered them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick, I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. So it's just the fact that God can use anybody. He can use anybody like me and you. No matter what we've gone through, no matter what we have done in this life, there is hope for us through Jesus. Um, so if you're feeling any type of way of, you know, feeling worthless, you feel like you have no hope, you feel like you don't belong, just remember that if Jesus can use someone like Matthew, he can use someone like you. Um, and Jesus will give you that worth. He'll give you that that plan that he has for you. And, you know, at this time, it didn't say, you know, in this this chapter, it doesn't say Matthew got baptized, Matthew uh, repented, he didn't um, read his Bible or whatever it was, he got up and just followed Jesus. And when you do that, that's when Jesus will start sanctifying you and changing those desires in you. So just trust in that process and just keep your eyes on, on God and don't let the enemy try to attack who you are. So hope you enjoyed this, guys. Love you.